Okay, hello my wonderful people. Today I want to be making you some abstract art again. And this photo over here was taken out of a really dark forest. There was this car, you know, like headlights coming towards uh, or passing by on the street. And we're gonna use that as a starting point for this piece. Yeah, <laughs> like that's pretty clever, I would say, but it's it's just the starting point. That's where we start, and that's just just the way I I do I do my art. When I when I look at things, you know, when I when I'm photographing, I don't look at them as what they are in themselves. You know, you can use them and you can take them to the next level. Like for example, you could do this, or you could you could do you could do something like this. I I think this one is pretty pretty interesting. I've never never done I've never used or done this kind of thing before. But let's try it. Then we have this. This is taken out of the city. City, you know. Let's let's make it like that. It's a pretty interesting abstract art piece on its own. You could win some competition even with that, but. We don't care about competitions, you know, art is not a competition. So let's put it like this. Let's put it like this. And then we have this photo over here. And this is just a regular, you know, it's just a regular, regular photograph of, of me, my umbrella. Or just my umbrella. And let's make it, let's make it kind of interesting color, something like that. We get few interesting shapes out of it, and let's modify it even further. You know, something like something like that, something like that. I mean, like that. And then another layer to it, like was it like this. No. Let's just try to make a good composition with interesting, interesting shape elements, that kind of stuff. Then we have this, this picture over here, just a tad bit of it because we used that was that was the last art piece I did. So let's just overlay this over here. Or actually, actually, just let's let even even more, even even less like even less like that. Just, just so little that, that the numbers don't even show, you know. Yeah, that's good. Let's start with that. Okay, so <clears throat> here's some forest pictures. Then there's some forest pictures. Then I might talk over here when while I'm doing this this uh, about memory cards you know uh, i was just looking at memory cards and i'm i'm thinking about buying like a really high end one um because i want to do more 4k videos and i want to get myself the fucking what's the called the kingston react plus you know card and I would want it like in, in a huge capacity, but they cost they cost like a lot for like a memory card. But yeah, like with with the memory cards I have right now, you can do 4K videos, but usually they are usually the card like the speed is not up, it's not fast enough, you know. I think that's great, great. Speed. Right, but you know, I always, I'm always fiddling around with memory cards. You know, I have all kinds of you know stuff on them, and I, 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 I actually, I actually ordered a 500 gig memory card, but I haven't received it. Like I don't know what, what's the fucking problem with the company I ordered it from. You know. Uh, but it was it was not uh, a memory card you could probably do well you can do 4k filming on a memory card that's a bit slower you know 
but it's just gonna cut at some point the video and that can be a pain in the ass if you are just in a filming or something great you know so yeah and i have noticed that my youtube channel has been gaining gaining more traction you know like more subscribers and views and view counts and more watched minutes and that kind of stuff it's really growing you know and uh, i feel that I, it's it's due to me being more like in the end more social talking to people and gaining ideas and uh for the fact that i started doing i started in the last couple of weeks i started doing almost exclusively english videos of course there's more audience in the english language and i feel that maybe i should just use that but i'm gonna keep making some finnish videos but I feel that the ratio I should be maybe doing is that more English than Finnish. Maybe something like 80-20. Okay, so let's keep co going. I feel that this picture is gonna take more work. This picture is gonna take a lot more work, you know, to get it, get it like right. This picture is going to be taking a lot more fucking work to get it right. But this, this... This picture over here that I'm now now showing to you, this was this this shape over here is taken. It was this kind of fast food restaurant type of covering, whatever I don't know that kind that kind of stuff. <laughs> and I'm gonna I'm gonna use that. There's a number over there, and that's maybe not so good if we if we make it like if we make it like that maybe or or like no we're not gonna make it like like i feel that that's better let's just try to create this kind of composition of abstract abstract interesting shapes on the background and that that will be that will be our kind of why well, i said it's a starting point but we are really far away from the start already but I'm kind of using the leftover pictures. I have al already used the best pictures I got yesterday. And I take a lot of pictures. Like, I have a memory card that has 12,000 pictures, you know, 12,000. That, that's just one memory card, you know. I don't know. I have probably taken like 50,000 pictures in my life already with cameras, you know, it's insanity. Okay, I'm not as deliberate over here with this one. I'm I'm really experimenting and kind of trying to understand like what kind of subjects should I take photos in the future. You see here this kind of a picture, you know, it's not very complex, you know, on its own, but it's pretty interesting, you know, the composition and the, the angle of the light and that kind of stuff. It's 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 not too bad. It's not too bad. You make it bright like that and then then let's let's take this this and just let's just oh create create this type of transparency on this layer create this kind of a shape over here and you see how it starts to kind of disappear into the background that that original picture we were going about and i feel that this picture has to be like this have to be like this let's create some more organic shape in there and then this layer has to be almost almost kind of transparent so we make this this one show a bit it doesn't show at all at the moment it's because there's starting to be too much in the picture maybe that would be actually a better place for that yeah 
Yeah, that's in that's interesting. It looks some kind of a reflection, you know, of a water. Okay, so now now you see this. Something like that. Or that. Something like that. Or that. Something like that. Uh, I kind of like it, but I feel that this shape over here is kind of finicky, you know. It's kind of interesting, but still it looks too much like a photograph, you know, and I don't like that. As I have said like before in this art making that I try to make the final piece look not like a photograph something a bit transcending the photograph and this one looks too this one this part here is too grainy and yeah let's keep working on it yeah and then you look at this Like this. Well, that's great. And we kind of overlay these shapes on top of each other like this. No. Well, maybe, yeah. And if we, if, we, if, we, if we take this shape and kind of like this, we get something like that. It's a bit too busy, you know. This this swing over here looks a bit not confident enough. Okay, so I think I'm gonna use this a couple. I'm go I want to get some like natural feeling in the picture, so I'm gonna take this layer to kind of like an extreme. Maybe not, maybe even that, no. Well, some, some, something like that, let me look at this. Yeah. And then we have this mushroom picture. If we had a mushroom in there. Something like that. And we are to make this like transparent over here and we take the whole freaking thing we take the whole freaking thing like this and we make it like this is really interesting stuff that you can do when you have a swing of like light you can like tr when you put some some like pretty natural shape behind it it looks it looks i think really good really interesting great bit unfinished feel to it but I still think there's something kind of 
good in the picture. Let's crop it a bit. Let's try to find that one thing it misses the picture. No, we have a here a kind of. Now this shape works pretty great. I have a couple of fire photographs over here. I think that's in the exact fucking right spot even. We just have to make it feel like unified. Maybe the flame should even be like green or something like that to see how we make it a different color and the picture kind of uses it, loses it make it like that okay that's that feels great that feels great what if we, if we, if we add a little bit more shape out of that I think it's better without that Thing. What about this picture? No, it's good. Okay, so let's look at this. It still feels kind of unfinished, I don't know why. Put something over here, Some, just something, I don't know what, but some, something like to resolve this. Yeah, I went to this forest party yesterday. There were these hippies, you know. What if we use this picture over here, like this? It has a great, you know, type of thing, you know. This picture is a fucking mess, you know. Okay, let's look at it again.
that. Can I use layer like this? Reverse those colors. A little bit more bright than now, but again. This is hard, you yeah, know. Yeah, 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 like that, like that's fucking amazing, yeah, man. That's it. So yeah, that's that's the final final picture. It's not so great, but yeah, I tried. <laughs>